Hello, darlings. It is Miss Aphrodite Darling, your friendly neighborhood esthetician and pinup. Today, I will be showing you how to recreate this adorable half up, half down hairstyle. So, we're going to start off with our hair set however you like. It's going to be back and down on the sides, just like I usually do. To start, take off that clip in the front that keeps you from having that crease, and then take the rest out. Now we take our brush, I use a wet brush, and brush out all those tangles. Not too much, because we want it to be curly. And you're all done once you have a puffy mess. So get your teasing comb ready. But first, we're going to brush back the hair and part where you want. I do, it's a deep side part, but not crazy deep. Really, however you want it to be is gonna work. I like a curved parting so that I can get, you know, the right amount of volume on each side. You can brush out just a little bit more to make sure your hair isn't a rat's nest. Now, while we want our style to be sleek and not tangly, we don't want it straight, so don't brush too hard and stress your hair out. Once you're done brushing, take the front bangs area and separate it from the rest of your hair. And if you're very particular about your sections like me, you can go in with your tail comb but you don't need to. It can be however you want. Then twist it, roll it up, take your alligator clip and pin it back. We are going to forget about it for now. Beautiful. After this, we are going to focus on the back section of our hair because we don't want it to look glued to our head. So take the first layer at the top of your hair, brush it straight up like you're a troll doll out of the 1980s. What a look. And spray it, then tease it. Tease it as though your life depends upon it. Next, you're going to take the second layer down and do the same thing. Lift it up, spray it, and tease it. This is going to get that nice volume that we want without being too crazy big. And repeat again a third time for the bottom layer of your hair just to make sure that the bottom layer stays curled. If you have thicker hair, you can do more layers. I just do three. So you can take your boar bristle brush and smooth down the back so that it doesn't look like it was teased. Just a little bit for now, and you are good to go. Now go to one of the sides of your head and section it off like you're gonna do victory rolls. Make sure that it's going all the way down to the bottom of your hair. Brush it up and spray it with some hairspray. And you guessed it, we're gonna tease it. You don't need a super huge tease, so I'm just using my war bristle, but either way works. So that looks nice. We're going to twist it going upwards and away from our face. This is the section that we are going to pin back. And it may take a couple tries to get the placement exactly how you want, but it's not too hard. Make sure that when you decide to pin it, it's on the center of your head near the crown of your head. Take your bobby pin and pin it in. 
If you did your teasing right, you should have no problem getting your bobby pin to stay. Once it feels secure, time to smooth with the boar bristle brush, just to make sure it doesn't look like you teased it. Once it's nice and smooth on the top and on the side, you're done. Spray it to give it some hold, smooth it down with your fingers. If you see any extra little flyaways, you can go back in with your boar bristle brush after spraying. Lovely. Next, we do the exact same thing on the other side. We want to take that section from the top of our bangs section of hair down to our ears. Make sure that's all covered. We're going to spray and tease again just to give it some volume and staying power. Looking good. Do the twist upwards and pin it back to meet the other section that you just pinned. Sometimes this takes a couple of tries. If you want extra staying power, you can put the second bobby pin in perpendicular to the first bobby pin for extra staying power. Once it feels secure, you're okay to move on. Now we're going to brush the bottom section with your paddle brush. Don't be too crazy with this. I know I look really intense, but really I'm being very gentle. It's even better to hold the hair above where you're brushing it so you're not pulling it out or stressing anything. You can see a nice wave pattern start to come out. The more you brush, the better it will be. Brush it against something that can be your chest or your hand, but make sure you're being gentle. Curl it under, that's what I like to do. Some people curl it out. However you want is just fine. You can see it starting to take shape and get that nice vintage feel that we want. It's the same thing with the back. You want it to not be tangly. It's easier if you can get two mirrors so that you can see the back, but if not, just try your best and hopefully no one will look at the back of your hair. And puff it up, very nice. And take your hairspray, just a little spritz. We aren't completely done yet but just to give the waves that you already made some hold. You can go over it as much as you need to as long as you're being gentle and not pulling out the bobby pins or brushing out any of the work that you already did. Once you're satisfied with how that's turned out, we can take out that bangs area. Lovely. This is going to form a little kind of roll to the side brush that straight up and as per usual we need to tease that a little bit so brush it up everything's smooth and we're going to take a little section from that spray it and then tease it As always, don't be too worried if it looks a little crazy because we will smooth it out. You can take that second layer, do the same thing. As with before, if you have thicker hair, you can always do more sections if you need to, but my hair is pretty average and I usually just do three for this part and it works out very nice for me. Ah, oh, gotta love that 80s bangs look. Flip it over and we smooth it with the boar bristle brush. Don't brush out any of your work, just lightly go over, just so we don't look too crazy. Then take your paddle brush and brush out only the ends, not the top where the teasing is. You can kind of fuss with it just to get that big shape that you want and that kind of swoop. Brush it out some more. Really make sure that the ends are smooth. You can see that curl is starting to be really nice. You could leave it if you wanted, but I like having my hair up. So we take it down and wrap it around two or one finger. And then we roll upwards towards the side of our face, kind of in the direction that we pinned that hair up at. And you will have to fuss with it a little bit to get the placement where you want. But once it's there and you like the way the bang section looks, 
very nice. You can pin it, just like you would a victory roll, but this one is easier, I feel, because you don't have to have that huge volume for it to look good. Decent, decent, so it feels secure, but we're going to want to make sure that it is, so spray it, and then smooth it some more with your boar bristle because you can see it looks kind of messy right now, but you can get rid of that if you have a boar bristle brush. As I always say, this is going to take a lot of practice. You will have to fiddle with it quite a bit to get it how you want some days, but that's okay. As long as you keep practicing, you'll get better at it. Just a constant process of smoothing, brushing, and spraying and making it go where you want with your fingers. Cross the bobby pins perpendicularly, just like in the back of your head, and it will stay even better. Since this roll bangs part is the focal point near your face, of course you're going to be spending some time on it, so don't feel bad. It's time to spray hairspray like crazy. Don't spray it all at once so that your hair feels wet almost, just light layers and build it up. As soon as your hair feels crunchy, you know that you are good to go. Once you are finally done fussing with it, get out your flower or your hair bow or your barrette or whatever hair accessory you want and clip it right in the back. Ideally, it would be big enough to cover the bobby pins so that you can't see them, but if not, you're totally fine. And you're all finished. And let's take a look at the final product. And looking beautiful. If you like this tutorial, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and even better, go check out my blog. So fun seeing you, and I will see you in the next video.